Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. In today's video, I am going to discuss how to make a terrace garden in budget and here you can see one part of my terrace garden. I am going to discuss all the expenses details so that you get, get an idea about how much it might cost. Again, many of you also wanted to see what plants are there in my garden, how they are growing and how they are blooming. So you can take this video as the garden overview, that means terrace garden overview and please also note that I do have other parts as well and I would cover that part in in one different video. I am not going to show you the complete terrace garden in this video because if I do, the video is going to be very long. Alright, let's start the video now. See, the size of my terrace garden is 280 square feet and here you can see I have all the plants. This part of my terrace garden gets the direct sunlight. However, there is one more part that means 140 square feet but that part doesn't get the direct sunlight and that's why I am keeping some indoor plants or plants that don't need the direct sunlight in that part. For example, here you can see my shrub begonia, then this is lucky bamboo and similarly this one is aloe vera growing really well as you can see and here is calathea and here, are, here is one more cutting of my shrub begonia where I can see the new growth already and here are some of the dahlia cuttings. Whenever I propagate anything from cuttings, that time I keep them in this part of my terrace garden so that they get the bright light but not the direct sunlight. So let's take a look at the main part of my terrace garden along with all other plants. If you have seen some of my older videos, you already saw that this part of my terrace garden was quite dirty. So I did two different things. First one is I added one layer of cement and sand. There is another reason why I did that and that is just to protect the terrace from too much water. And on second I also painted all the walls and that's why now it's looking somewhat beautiful comparing to before. The overall cost of all these things were near about 10,000. So let's take a look at the main part of my terrace garden along with all other plants. Growing lots of plants in 6 inch sub pot and they are perfect for small pots. I am writing the names of the plants on the screen. So far you have seen that I grew many different varieties of plants and I am glad that most of them are growing well and blooming well. As of now I have 101 6 inch of pots and for one pot price is 13 rupees which is the wholesale price. So 
in total it was 1365 rupees all right now let's take a look at the plants which i am growing in 18 support mostly i am growing my dahlias in 18 support this is hollyhocks this is pica starlight and these are my chili plants I need to fertilize my chili plants as soon as possible because I can see that they are looking somewhat dull. As of now I have 31 18 sub pots in my terrace garden. For one pot wholesale price is 19 rupees so total it was 589 rupees. Next it's time to see which plants I am growing in 10 or 12 in sub pots. So right here this is one of my rose plant looking quite bushy and it's starting to bloom and I can also see lots of buds on my plants so this rose plant is in 14 inch of pot similar to the rose plant I have this one Zuhi Jasmine this is my Zarbera it's not exactly in 14 inch of pot but from the price wise it was the same price Next, this is Henan oil fruit tree. It's the passion flower. The season is about to start and hopefully this year it's going to bloom well. Next, right here I am doing one petunia tower. Really very very easy way to do and very soon I am going to show you what I did. And next, this is the Exora. Of course you already know that Exora is summer flowering plant and very soon it's going to bloom well. And finally this is the croton. I already have one video and there I have shown what I did to make my croton plant bushier. As of now I have 15, 10 to 12 inch of pots in my terrace garden and for one pot the price is near about 65 so total it would come around 975 rupees. I hope you are not tired yet, anyway there are not much to see, only few things are remaining, but before that let me show you something enjoyable for you. I am also growing lots of vegetables in grow bags and on this part I have kohlarbi also known as nolkhol and the cabbages. There are 30 grow bags and the time when I bought the grow bags it was near about 25 rupees for each one so it was 750 rupees total. On this part of my terrace garden I have three trees. First one is drumstick tree which I grew from cuttings and here you can see it's already flowering and looking quite good. Next to the drumstick tree I have two banana trees have been waiting from last 1.5 years to harvest them and finally I hope I will be able to do it very soon. But anyway if you want to grow banana trees in pots then please use somewhat much wider and bigger pots. I am using black grow bag to grow all the trees and they were much cheaper only 25 rupees for one grow bag so total it was 75 rupees. So the total expenses for all the pots and grow bags was 3739 rupees. For garden soil as well I did not have to pay too much I got all the soil at around 1000 rupees. And this 3000 rupees I had to spend in vermicompost and cocopeat. Please note that I am not adding two things here. The first one is the price of the plants. It's because I grew most of the plants from the seeds as well. And on the second, the price of the fertilizers and all other things. But I still believe that you can get all the things within 2000 to 3000 rupees. So it's safe to say that if we spend 20,000 rupees, we can have a beautiful terrace garden which is around 280 square feet. Of course, you can also buy the stand and if you use the stand, it's going to look much more beautiful. But it's out of my budget and that's why I could not do that. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video and I would really love to get your feedback on my terrace garden. I wanted to kill two birds with one stone and that's why 
thought to do the video this way the first one is the overview of the terrace garden and on second also including the expenses details so that you can have a similar or much better terrace garden at your home so if you found the video useful or somewhat enjoyable then i would really appreciate if you like the video share it and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit thank you very much for watching the video and if you have any questions at all or if you want to know anything about the plants whatever i have shown you here please let me know thank you once again have a great time and enjoy